In today's video, we're going to be talking about everything you missed from GTA 6's announcement, specifically... Is there still something that we missed, bro? Brad, after all these videos, I thought we learn more from your videos and we know more about GTA 6 than Rockstar Games, like Brad. Some of the questions and answers that you might not have heard from CEO of parent company of Rockstar Games, Strauss Zelnick. So this is all sort of part of... We know more than the CEO at this point, thanks to your videos, bro. The media process that goes on anytime Take Two Interactive does an earnings call, usually yeah. you'll see CEO Strauss Zelnick do various interviews and whatnot. And up until this point, he really hasn't had a lot to say regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. But since Rockstar made their announcement, thanks to Sam Hauser, he actually was able to reveal a handful of details that were kind of interesting mm, and you certainly yeah. might have missed. Let's take a yeah, look at like the video, subscribe if you're brand new, let's go for three likes on the video or six likes on the video. Man, I hope they don't nerf the Buddha. Is it about that? Let's get into it, brother. Some of those from the interview with Jim Cramer on CNBC. Okay, so let's talk about uh, about Grand Theft Auto. First, the current iteration, but then six. First, I want people to understand, you not only do not rush a game, but it's entirely possible that Mr. Hauser, who I know is a genius, didn't even tell you that he's good, that he's ready. Is he that independent? <laughs> Bruh, 10 years, 10 years. You're telling me they were not ready after that. But I gotta agree though, like shout out to them, man. They take their time, but they make bangers though. That I gotta agree. I know, we're very close colleagues. So uh, no, that wouldn't be the way any well-run company operates. Uh, we work together very closely. That said, our labels do have a great deal of independence and we right. not only encourage them to pursue creativity endlessly right. we insist that they pursue their passions and look, uh, stop the cap stop the cap i mean i would say 50 percent cap though like i gotta agree bro gta is my beloved franchise okay we've been waiting 10 years by the time it comes out it's easily gonna be 12 years bro man sitting with our bunda like that on this bro man maybe garn party maybe better better garn party that's how i gotta say this and i cannot say this in english this is why i'm switching up the language bro Bruh, my ass is tired, bro. Simple as that. My ass is tired. I'm tired of being tired and being tired of waiting for this second out here. But I gotta agree, though. They take their time, but they make bangers. But 50% of that, the, the, the credit also goes to the shark cards, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they are good for a shark card. Grand Theft Auto 5 was released 10 years ago. It sold in over 190 million units. It continues to be a powerful force Crazy, in the business bro. today. Uh, something like that is worth waiting for. So one of the things I found Man. interesting here is he said that him and Sam Hauser have a really good relationship, and it doesn't seem as if this announcement was sort of sprung on Strauss Zelnick by surprise. Now, the reason I think that's a little bit interesting is I actually don't believe Rockstar had plans on announcing the game that day originally. Yeah! I oh, what? Yeah, what? Say you swear to God, bro. Say you swear to God, bro. I know Mr. Boss knows everything about GTA 6, but Brad, this gotta be cap. Okay, I'm intrigued. I need to hear. Because these videos are very inspiring, very infectious. I think they were responding to a leak, and they didn't want the leak to be the main story. They wanted to control the narrative. So in case you guys are wondering mm. what I'm talking about, about 12 hours before Rockstar made the announcement that they were going to be revealing the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer in early December, there was a leaked article that came out on Bloomberg from Jason Schreier that essentially True. said Rockstar plans... Schreier, Schreier, say it with me. Repeat at me. It is Jason Schreier to announce Grand Theft Auto 6 this week and provide a trailer next month. And in that article, Jason Schreier said the people who he interviewed asked to not be identified because yeah. they weren't <laughs> authorized to speak publicly. Yeah. So I do believe- uh, Shout out to those devs, bro. Yo, what if- Emergency meeting, emergency meeting though. Yo, what if like Rockstar, I mean, he does have a point with this one, right? Like, let's uh, just think about it. Everybody, like gather around. Let's think critically, okay? Let's use our frontal lobe real quick. The, the point he's making is that had it been that Bloomberg never leaked the, the, the fact that we're going to hear about GTA 6 and we're going to get the trailer in early December, what if Rockstar would never, never even announce, they would just drop the trailer out of nowhere? I mean, hard to, hard, I, I, I like to believe that they would like to just drop like a confirmation like they did, maybe even just like logo reveal or that Rockstar logo, like two, three days before, maybe in a week before the trailer. But this time they just, right after we had that leak though, we're talking Jason Schreier, we're talking Bloomberg, they're big, right? Suckers believe in because there's a reason, they, they, they got good credit, they got good credibility and we all know this time they were right as well, right? So what if Rockstar was like, wait, it's leaking once again, it's leaking once again. And therefore they were like, okay, let's might as well just, just confirm it because it is leaking out and everybody's believing it. And they were like, we need to be the one 
that should take the precedence and uh, they were like let's go ahead and announce it let's do a formal announce it with, announcement with those tweets and guess what they did that and now they're like well we're not ready but we're gonna drop in early december i don't know man i don't know do you think they were pressure from this leak i'm kind of 50 50 though what you guys believe what you guys think I believe they have good communication because i feel like a decision like that had to be made rather swiftly especially if they were trying to get ahead of the bloomberg jason schreer leaks but i still found that to be kind of cool that they do have a good working relationship it's kind of nice to see some of the behind the scenes stuff with rockstar take two interactive i, I wish we really saw the behind the scenes stuff like is the lucia Porna getting nerfed or not that's the only important question we have though. and grand theft auto 6. now another thing that strauss zelnick goes on to say is about how ai is going to impact GTA 6 and that is Yo. sort of the hot topic of 2023 everyone likes talking about AI how useful it might be how controversial it might be this is what he has to say about AI and how Rockstar are going to use that in GTA 6 okay so first of all I'm sure the iteration is going to be amazing but second please because you are both at the intersection of technology and entertainment talk about what the technology might mean for the for in the last 10 years what's happened because I think that may be the trick to why this is going to be the greatest selling game of all time and those who want to are worried about sluggish the downbeat bookings are going to miss the next 60 points so you know we always want to man investors are really really excited right now man I'm punching air right now bro I wish I invest in my two pennies my two pennies in that take two stock bro i think it's still not too late i i believe that sucker is gonna he's talking about 60 points what he's trying to say is that it's gonna go away uh 60 dollars up with stock right now it's like it was 133 i believe jumped up to almost 150 somewhere around like 147 and he's talking about it's gonna jump up 60 so if we really calculating i i think he would say all right i think we should calculate from 133 and not 147 if we're calculating for let's just say 133 then he can easily get up to 190 though oh, shit. Oh, that shit. is moolah boys that is that money my friend that is the money but, but that, that's like <laughs> doing the money glitches uh but in real life bro you cannot brother get those money glitches in real life as well strauss zilnik are like to talk about their upcoming properties. Right. You're right, though, that technology has advanced greatly since Grand Theft Auto V was released. That was was literally three console cycles ago. Oh my God, Nvidia! Remains, what was Nvidia doing then? And, and it remains <laughs> a standard bearer for the industry now. That's extraordinary. So yes, uh, my hopes and expectations are very high. Now, is it possible, as some Damn. of my friends at Nvidia tell me, that there could be some things lurking inside that we never thought? Kind of like uh, Free Guy, where people who are non-players may turn out to be not as much non-players as you think. Yeah. Well, again, I wouldn't talk about any particular title. I do think that. Our generative AI is going to change the nature of what okay. we do, and I think it'll change the nature of many of our games in the future, all to the good for players and consumers. I think your point, Jim, is that that could indeed broaden the market because That's to the extent that the experience is more compelling and more welcoming, you know, we already have two and a half billion people on the face of the earth who play video games. Maybe that number goes up. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Mm, what will happen yeah. is, is that my my nephew will say, Uncle Jumbo, have you seen this game? And I'll say, no, I've of course I've seen the game. Say, no, you haven't seen I want you this character. That I think it's a word of mouth for the next iteration that can make it so big. Yeah. I think there's enormous opportunity ahead, <laughs> and we are already the fastest growing industry in the entertainment business, and I think uh, the business is likely to accelerate, and technology is part of that. Not all of it, right. part of it. Yeah, I love this man. I love this Jim Kramer man, bro. <laughs> He, he looks like he could be like a great toxic and independent gamer. Now back to the subject of AI, oh, Strauss Zelnick did talk about that and how he plans to use it in GTA 6. In an interview with Inverse, oh, he wow. said it may be better, but it almost certainly will not be faster and cheaper. But he goes on to say this mm. could be extremely useful in their games for NPCs, specifically in Grand Theft Auto 6. Saying Yo, dog, I would absolutely love it. How many of you guys uh, heard about that AI thing in um, that Matrix PlayStation 5 demo, right? Matrix PlayStation 5 demo was made with Unreal Engine 5 and it was really really sick. I mean, it wasn't necessarily a game that was built with missions. It was more like you can just go around, uh, you know, free roam and that was pretty much a drive around and the city had a lot of detail though. Like Sega's even made mods from it. Sega's made those Superman mods. Uh, one day I wanna, as a brown man, Iron Man, a uh, Superman game to be released right after GTA 6. Okay, like the video if you agree. And then Sega's modded the hell out of it and they implemented the AI. And every NPC that you would speak with actually would reply to you differently every single time which is absolutely insane i mean it's not perfect it's not like crazy but i feel like that in, in a game like gta 6 it could be amazing because we all know rockstar is going to try their absolute best to make the gameplay experience immersive and if they're going to make it immersive they can have the npc i mean what's better to or have, like this is probably is the best way to make 
GTA 6 the most immersive game ever where you have NPCs and all of them are acting and behaving differently and talking differently with different dialogue and and, and that's only possible if they use NPCs uh, or I should say AI technology with NPC everyone's working on that you're a playable character you're interacting with the non-playable character the interaction is currently scripted and the non-playable characters are generally not very interested you can imagine all the npcs becoming really fun and interesting so if you thought yeah. the npcs were pretty dynamic in red dead redemption 2 i think it's there's going to be, be a massive improvement it is gonna be crazy and guys click on this video on the screen we had a ton of leaks in this video check it out and i will see you right there this game is gonna be big guys the, the lucia bruna got leaked out check it out and i'll see you right there